welcome to season two of the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty. And today, before we begin, um, I wanted to give you guys kind of a rundown of what's going on um, with the custom recruits for season two. Uh, if you guys did not know that I've gotten, how many recruits did we get for season two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got 10. I wrote them all down here by everything that I was able to get uh, from you guys. You guys had uh, wonderful submissions. Um, now, a little bit of a background of why I don't like necessarily make them completely custom. I make them custom to what I can get. Uh, with the restrictions that we have on these, on the recruiting via, um, you know, what we can go after as far as caliber of player uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, so I wasn't able to get you guys like the type of player that you wanted for the most part. I mean, we got to get take what we can get as far as a player is concerned. Uh, so I was only really able to go after, uh, let's, I'll show you the team management here. I, I don't, I'll show you all 10 players that I got here. Um, and I didn't get any single one of like player, every single player, the position they wanted because of, um, you know, position changes and stuff like that. We're, we weren't able to get freshmen uh, in that class. And actually, our best player is a freshman, which is kind of scary. Um, so our quarterback here, Brett Brown, um, was submitted. Uh, he was a submission that we had. Uh, another one that we had here is uh, two running backs. We had a lot of requests at running backs, so I do want to rec recommend here look at the recruiting list that we have for 2000 for the season two of the dynasty and you know um be mindful i i'll let you know if like that recruits are, are if there's our slots already been filled in that position that way you can have time to think about oh there may be another position available maybe i can take this position or this position um and a lot of them were offensive requests i didn't get any many requests for defense uh we have I had to put uh, one of the requests at fullback, and I'll convert him over to tight end uh, in season, next season. Um, if I can get another fullback to replace, or even even so, I could probably even, you know, take one of our power backs and put him over at fullback. Uh, that's a possibility as well. Uh, we have a couple of receivers here. Uh, one of them is going to be starting. Um, it's nothing to be biased towards any sort of, you know, submission. Like I said, they, these guys have to be at a certain level for me to recruit them. So I can only take what I can get. Um, so please be mindful of that. It's nothing against your player. Um, he, some players will get playing time throughout all four years. Some players may only get like two years. Some players may only get one. I don't know this for sure. Um, so you got to be mindful of that as well. So uh, I think we had one at, I think it was right in or left in. Uh, yeah, it was, it was left end, I think. Yeah, left end. Okay, there we go. Some of these guys I had to redshirt too uh, because of the fact that they're too low on the depth chart or I think they need time to develop. Um, so like I said, don't take it personally. Um, I understand if you wanted your player to play like right away uh, But this dynasty has a lot of rules in it that I kind of would like to you know keep intact uh, so don't take it personally um, please and you know If this if we get as clean of a submissions as we did for season two uh, for this year We will continue to do this for season three and beyond so let's you know I want to make sure that everybody in the uh, in the comment section or you know keeps it civil and you know doesn't you know turn this into a giant mess you know i would like to keep this pretty clean so it's like um you never know how good you have it till it's gone well i mean i would love to keep it that way i'd like to keep it having a good thing going and uh, i would like to have more custom recruits having uh for season three uh so you know keep making those submissions uh, and we, I will try to do my best. I can't guarantee everything and I'll go over the recruiting list every video. So make sure you guys tune in for that too. Um, that's pretty much what's covering on for the custom recruits. So I do have a few of them that are starting. Um, I do have the freshman quarterback, Brett Brown starting 
over Jamal Mardcourt because I feel like uh, the, the his arm is just a little bit better throwing wise and that's kind of what I like I would like to have a quarterback do this time around I mean he's got some speed so it's not like he's completely useless um, we have two solid running backs that have really good speed too so I'm not even worried about that at all uh, we have a lot of uh, we have two quarter we have our backup quarterbacks playing wide receiver no joke this is not a drill um, and it's gonna be interesting this year um, I think that's it, I think there's a couple. I think there's a defensive tackle. Yep, yeah, there's a defensive tackle starting as well. And our kicker, Marcus Schroeder, uh, punt returner, uh, Jamal Branch. I think that's it for freshman starters. We do have a few of them, though. We do have a few. Um, I'm starting Brett Brown because of his. He has a better arm. And he can develop that arm into something special. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but. With that, finally, we can get into recruiting. With the first game of every season, I want to touch base with that that custom recruit stuff if we're going to continue it on for future seasons. I know this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so let's try and uh, I want to try and get through, make sure all of this is taken care of. So as as stated before, um, I don't want to do that. Um, we do have a quarterback coming in. We do have a couple of running backs, a fullback. Four wide receivers, two tight ends, two tackles, five guards, five, uh, three defensive ends, four defensive tackles, four outside linebackers, two middle linebackers, five corners. Uh, these guys are all, you know, possibly coming in. So don't take it as, oh, these guys are, you know, solidified. We only get 25 recruits per year. So we out of 35 chances that we get. So as, of, as it stands right now, overall wise, uh, we have a couple of JUCOs, 75 overall here, 72 overall here. A lot of them are JUCOs this time around, um, simply because of all the restrictions that we had. We won eight games last year. Um, that's a lot for a team that was only 53 overall last season. Um, but that doesn't mean that you know we can't come back and still get a lot of you know incoming freshmen. Uh, so don't uh, let's be mindful of that as well. Make sure you get a good look at the positions that are available and We could turn this into another special season um, Again, uh, the last guy is also a DN uh, Brad Fletcher defensive end um, We may be behind on some of these guys early, but that doesn't mean we can't just come back and get them um, Don't worry about it uh, right away there may be other guys that come slipping through as well. Um, hopefully that can be arranged here. So anyway, that's about what we have for recruiting. On to the top 25 to start the season. Ohio State is number one. Stanford at number two. Three through 10 is uh, Mississippi State. Michigan State was uh, Washington. Wow. Um, some of these guys, teams have already played their first game too. So uh, Florida, Georgia, A&M. Uh, NC State and Auburn, 11 through 20, is Wisconsin, Michigan, Oklahoma, West Virginia, uh, Miami, South Carolina, Clemson, who starts 0-1 after losing to Georgia, Iowa State. I kind of wish I could have played them. I kind of wish I would have rolled an 18 in that random number generator. You know what, though? I can't complain too much. Maybe we'll get to play them next year if they play well this year. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they do well this year. Just so I can have the chance to play them next year. Who knows? We'll see. Um, 19 is Missouri. 20, Alabama. They lost to West, West Virginia. Looks like they're not winning another national championship again this year. Uh, TCU, Oregon, Colorado, LSU, and Purdue. Other receiving votes go to USC, UCF, Florida State. Florida State dropped out. I know we rolled them earlier in the year as a ranked opponent, but um, they kind of dropped out after getting their butts kicked. Oregon State, Notre Dame, North Carolina, Virginia, and Arkansas. Uh, let's see. I think they, I've already showed you guys the conference projections and stuff like that. Uh, we were projected to be, I think, second place in the entire MAC. So let's see how we do against this really good Texas A&M team, I add. So I will see you guys on the field. 
And we are underway here from Kyle Field as we're going to receive the kickoff. Oh, can we get some blocks? Oh, we got out to the 25, 30, 31 yard line. Okay. Brett Brown, starting quarterback for the Minnesota State Mavericks, incoming true freshman. Let's see how he does in his first career. Calm these fans down, man. Oh, we got the first. There we go. Hey, we got a yard. That's all that matters. Just push yourself forward, man. You need the same pace that we did last year. Gain of six. See, Kevin Fox is just a beast, man. You can't stop this. Well, there we go. Jacob Jackson with his first career catch and a first down. I like it, man. We don't need it all, man. We got this. Ooh, David Hampton for a gain of six. This play design is... Oh, Jesus. That's... Oh, no. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, he's got a touchdown. Let's go, baby. Nice cut to the outside. That's how you do it. Bringing the ball around the yard, man. That's not a joke either. This team loves it. You know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass. Okay, expect, expect a lot of poor tackling today. Like, it's going to happen. Text in him for Oh, jeez. He's gone. That was two plays, dude. He was breaking everything. That was too easy. They're going to sling the ball around the yard all day. Okay. First and ten. Okay, there we go. Big third down play right there. Love it. I might audible depending on what type of defense they bring. I'm probably... Uh... Jeez. This is tough. Are they going to bring him? Because if they... If they... Uh, I got to make a decision. Okay, go. Rolls forward. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Give me that first. I hope... I was looking for that commit. I was looking for that commit all day. You know it. You know I was looking for that commit. Set. Set them blockers, baby. Oh, to the out. Oh, they couldn't maintain it long enough. Okay. And he's hurt. Oh, crap. Oh, we got Hampton at least. He's good. We'll be overzealous here and try and, uh, try and make them blitz a little bit fast. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Outside first down, baby. Whoop. Give it to him. It's all about them coaching, baby. It's all about that coaching. We've been doing really well so far. We got to make it count on third. Oh, he's wide. Oh, he couldn't set his feet. He was wide open. Oh, it sucks. Well, okay, so Kevin Fox is out for the game with a concussion. Um, so next man up. Here comes uh, David Hampton. Oh, got the sack. There we go. I think he was trying to go to his running back. He was looking like it for a second. He just got to make the play, make the stops, man. If I would have decommitted from him, that would have been a bad play. That would have been gone for like six. That would have been gone for six again. Ah. Okay. Okay. I mean, at least we didn't give up a touchdown in two plays. That's okay, though. They're going to switch the pass now. Oh, man, this read option is killing me. I I don't have that many blitzers to try and... Then they're going to throw it. Watch this, for example. They're going to throw here. They see the commits. Exactly. They see the commits, then going to the blitz. We got to go to a zone. Oh, it's intercepted! Oh, 
Oh my lordy, what a play! Opportunistic defense is opportunistic, baby. Oh! Let's see what they bring to the table here. All right. Give it to the big guy. Got to give it to the big guy. First down. First scooter. All right, let's bring the let's open up the can of worms here, man. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, he's open. Oh my god! The first string quarterback. <laughs> he's legitimately the third string quarterback and he's making catches like this. Why not? Let's see what they can do here. Let's see if they can stop this this attack here. Oh, he pulled it underneath. Oh, couldn't get the end zone. All right. I'll take the points. If we miss this, it's going to be huge. You got to take what you can get. I know we're two yards away from the end zone. I know. But we got to take the points. 17-7. Right there. We, we blew it. Oh, almost intercepted again! Stop it! You gotta stop! Up by three against AM. This is a joke. Oh, over the middle. Okay, we got minimal. They, they picked up a first, but that's okay. Um, he looked impressive on the first drive, but other than that, he's looked bad. Like, awful. Oh, shed that block, shed the block. Ah, crap. Bring him down. There you go. I couldn't get him to shed the block. It doesn't rule out anything. We can we can make stops on this team. All right. They're kind of riding high on themselves, thinking like, okay, we can get this back. You know, I wanted that touchdown on that last on that last offensive possession. But you know, I can't. I have to take what I can get. You know, I can't just sit there and say, oh, it's. You know, the grass is greener on the other side, blah, blah, blah. First down and him again. But at the same time, we're like, the third. Nah, touchdown AM. But we're, we're not out of it ourselves yet. We're not out of it. Man. What are you doing? Overcommit. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Give me that. Oh! Baby! 27 yards. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this offense, man. We can throw the ball a little bit better this time. Outside, outside. There you go. There you go. That's what I was looking for right there. Holloway first down, baby. I was waiting for him to cut outside. And honestly, Brown hasn't been bad all the game. You know, he's been great actually. If you really if I really do say so. As a first time starter, he's been phenomenal today. Townsend first down. That's what I'm talking about. He was wide open, baby. Third and nine. <clears throat> oh, what a Oh, he dropped it! No! <laughs> He squeezed that throw. He threw that a tight window. He threw it out a tight window. He just, uh, uh, Utley couldn't grab it in. 14-13. They haven't brought a two tight end set all game. They're bringing a two tight end set now. We're running left side. Now the running right side. Up. Oh. oh man, I got fooled. And he's gone, I think. Yeah, he's gone. I Man, I haven't been able to stop the read option all game. And I came out in the second half and just destroyed their souls. This is one of those games. Oh, they played. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Thompson with a catch, first down. I'm okay with that. The passing game has opened up some things this year now. Is he blitzing or is he going to be out in coverage? Oh, I couldn't even get the protection. I didn't, the guy didn't even get to finish. My dude didn't even get to finish their routes. Ooh, that looks horrible. At least next game's at home against Minnesota. That's a positive. We can take that. We take those minor, minor, small victories. Oh, come on. Make the tackle, man. 
three touchdowns this quarter. Good grief. We lost all momentum as soon as we kicked the ball off with only a one score lead, man. Ooh. You gotta be kidding me! He sprained his ankle?! Oh. You gotta be freaking kidding me! It's football, man. These guys aren't meant to take super. These guys aren't meant to be like brick layers of brick. He's not a good passer. He's a runner. He's a runner. He's faster than some of my wide receivers. Townsend, nice grab. He's the third down. He's the third stringer. He scrambled. Ugh. Do I go for it in this instance? I think I have to. I think I have to. Oh crap, they put good coverage on him. Ugh. Oh, now he's broken. God. He's at midfield, and he's taking I gotta play with a third string quarterback now. I this is ridiculous, man. I have these guys at injury levels. And he's got the junior, and he tackles him hard. At the line. This is not getting this is getting uglier. Like we're losing court we're we're dropping our players are dropping like flies out here, man. We're dropping like flies. It's unfortunate too. It's intercept. Oh, he got beat on the coverage. Nine weeks. Oh my god. Excellent kick. Oh my god. Stop. I only have one quarterback left. Stop. I have one quarterback left. Don't break this one, too. I can't believe we're playing with three different quarterbacks already today. Like, come on. Less than three minutes in the game. Oh, he's wide open. There we go. Oh, he broke a tackle. Look at him. Oh, man. Oh, he's going still. Oh, my Lord. Stop. <laughs> Is that safety dropping? Oh, what a catch. Touchdown. Beautiful touch pass. There we go, man. Well, um, I would say that I'm proud of this team for at least giving a good fight against A&M. But, um, well, the effort was there. It's just that the results and what had transpired in the game was definitely demotivating. Uh, we lost our starting quarterback, our starting running back, our backup quarterback. And that, it, it's... It's tough, man. Uh, Marcord's out for nine weeks. I'm hoping Brett Brown can come back soon. Um, we lost Fox due to concussion. He'll be back next game. But still, it's it's kind of sucks that a game had to play out that way. Um, but still, 35-19 loss. Next t game we take on Minnesota. Should be a good one. Uh, drop a like on the video if you're new. Subscribe. Until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance. Peace out.